this is the life. Look at that. Beauty in here. <laughs> it's like Christmas. It's as, if, it's as if I've never had fish and chips before in my life. This is amazing. And look at the view. Right, should we go for it? Yeah. Welcome to Fentor. Audio went wrong on this clip, so I'm recording the voice afterwards, which is always not a very good thing, as it's a bit of shit. Anyway, um, off on the fat bob. First time for ages. I, it felt so good. My mate David's behind on his Yamaha Virago Classic 535, and we're heading up for some chips at the coast. A beautiful sunny evening. First time out with the quad lock and my iPhone on the bars of the Fat Bob, giving me a good view of the old survey map, rather than putting over and having a look. This, uh, this piece of road's worth thinking about if you're heading up the A10 from the south. Um, don't go past Ely, go into Ely. Take this road between Ely and the Tipple. I'll show you, show you the map. Cracking bit of fun. So the quad log has allowed me to have the alternate survey maps open all the time, showing where I am. I can't really adjust it on the move because the iPhone doesn't work with my gloves. I think you can get gloves with a tip on them, but once I've got it set, and with the screen stay, set to stay on, um, it's fine. And if I want to zoom in and look a bit more closely, I could do that once on the quieter roads. At the moment, I'm heading on the A10, just north of Littleport, alongside the, the River Ouse. So I think we're going to head on quiet roads all the way up to Holt. Stop there, get some fuel maybe, and uh, then head along the coast find a quiet spot for some chips and a cup of tea, hopefully there'll be a chippy open maybe a cup of tea as well, we'll see on a quieter fen road now and good old bumps the fan bulb's not bad over the bumps I've got it on the softest setting and uh, it's okay it's only a thousand times better than the victory hammer I had, which should throw me literally out of the seat over every bump. Well, I've got, just got to be careful not to leave poor David behind. So, what have we got on this? 18, 1800 and something cc. A lot. David's Virago is the 535cc version, which is a brilliant bike in its in the 90s, and his is like new. In fact, I would say it looks newer than the, the Fat Bob, which is just it's literally immaculate showroom condition. He is a bit of a bargain hunter, is David. Always gets a bargain. I don't think he paid too much for it. Which is pr pretty much an old but new bike. But I think it can cruise at 60, 70 okay, so he's okay. Just if I go Larry on the acceleration front, there is a problem. Oh, that's nice. I've got a, a second GoPro mic adapter so that I was thinking if I fit a second GoPro on the back of the Harley facing backwards then with some care mount a microphone out of the wind um, I would go past that car normally but poor David's going to uh, have to thrash it bring its neck <laughs> he's not going to agree with this video is he? <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, what a load of bollocks. 
<laughs> oh yes, the microphone. If I mount it somewhere at the rear of the bike, hopefully out of wind shot, wind noise air shot. See if I can get some good sound from the pipes because of course you're relying on a helmet microphone quite muffled from the sound of the pipes really. And they are quite quite loud on the uh, they're opened up despite them not being straight through despite them actually having some silencing. God this is alive. <laughs> so good. I didn't go straight out after lockdown. It's been a few days. I said it's lockdown, okay. So-called lockdown, whatever we like to call it. When the release of bikes was allowed, people... I used the opportunity to go further afield to do some walking, quite a lot of walking. The bikes took a, a, a back shelf for a, a few days. This morning got up really early, did, did a big walk before work at nine. Work at nine from home, which is nice, I quite like that part. And now early evening out on Fat Bob, yes, 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 yes. This is just great, look at that. I don't know if I'll go how well the GoPro picks it up. Absolutely superb for me just to think about a route, meander my way across country, wherever. Why can't sat-navs have an ordnance survey built in? Car sat-nav, some crap nav. When the Garmin's okay for the BMW, hear me. It's great for giving you instructions and taking you places, but I want to have that on the screen. That's what I want. Right? It doesn't give you directions, but I don't need it. I just need the map. That's all I need. Notice the American car with the red flashing indicator. Oh, oh it's so good. leaving David behind there. So how have you guys been coping with this awful lockdown stuff? I do hope everyone's uh, okay, kept away from the old virus, and that probably more importantly for most of you that you've still got a job, still got your enough income to pay your mortgages and rent or whatever. I mean that's the thing that was giving me the uh, poo-poos thinking, oh my god, I might have to um, ring the Halifax Bank and ask them to suspend payments or something. I mean, it was close to it. So, uh, it's a few sleepless nights. How have you been getting on? In the end, I've been uh, saving quite a lot of money. Well, until tonight, that is. Burning fuel, tyres, and all that sort of stuff. going to restaurants, not going to pubs, not going to cafes, not going to coffee shops. I mean, I cannot believe how much money I've saved. So, what I, have, I haven't saved it, I've been spending it on motorbikes, quad locks. They're not cheap. Link below if you want to get one. Make sure you choose the right fittings and stuff, but have a, have a look. The, the link below will take you through and then you can find the bits you need for you, your correct phone. Um, the Zimmer frame, I mean, sorry, not Zimmer frame. <laughs> All right, where's Dave? Oh, he's, I'm going too fast for him, bless him. Sorry, David. <laughs> been watching this video back. Cheeky bugger, he'll be saying. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, what was I talking about? I'm getting old, see all. Uh, the potlucks. Oh yeah, his Zimmer frame. His Zimmer frame, yes. Sorry. Wunderlich crash bars 
on the big GS and next week I've booked in the GS with a guy who specializes in Denali lights uh, he's got a website the bike thing where you can buy it all online fit it yourself um, well I thought I don't want to bugger it up I probably could do it without a problem but he doesn't charge so much money don't tell him that because I haven't been yet um, to do the fitting so I thought it'd be a great idea, a great I can't say it, great excuse for a blast out on the GS. You know, let's take in a bit of 1935 history about radar, which is near to where he lives. So uh, fit fit that into my my day. Leave early, get some cracking roads in before there's much traffic, that sort of thing. Brilliant. So there's a link below to his website. Uh, David's whizzing interview behind. Yeah, so, uh, so I'm taking the GS over to get these Denali lights fitted. Um, so two fairly big lights called the D4s to go up the front on the crash bars. And then Sound, what's called a sound bomb basically it's a, a decent horn so when you do blow your horn it wakes people up which could be linked to the lights I think so they strobe which could be quite quite cool someone pulls out in front of you out of the way you, you cretin sort of thing rather than having to shout very loud you can do both and also a uh, extra rear light that clips onto the or screws onto the number plate so you've got double visibility for people if you're braking and I think that can have an emergency when you're braking really hard flashing strobing effect as well a bit like cars do so uh, that is all cool stuff for safety should be seen a bit better doesn't help Fat Bob does it but um, anyway Fat Bob's got its noisy pipes <laughs> I don't think they particularly protect you. That's what people say, though. So, yeah, um, I've gone in a big, bloody circle. So, basically, I saved money not going out, not going to Cafe Nero, going to Costa Lotta, going to pubs, whatever, and uh, spent it all on stuff for bikes. Oh, new GoPro, yeah. <laughs> I think I've spent more than I saved. Good afternoon. Well, maybe not, over a couple of months. Yeah, yeah, it's probably about... I've spent about what I've saved. So, yeah, there we go. If you don't go out for two months, you can buy goodies for your bike. Oh, yeah, the petrol saving as well. Yeah, cool. Anyway... Let me know below in the comments how you've been getting on. Are you back out on your bike? How are your jobs? I mean, after bricking it, um, with our work found a way of working using stuff called Teams and Zoom. And actually, there's some good, good stuff there. Um, to be honest, most of us, we're not going to go back to the office. Not not on a daily basis anymore we're not going to be commuting we're going to stay working from home probably going one day a week or something I mean it's good for the environment yeah. he said burning petrol at an alarming rate on the Harley so that so there are some I hate to say it but some positives that have come out of this horrible lockdown I'll tell you what, it's kept that Greta Thunberg quiet hasn't it? Now that is a positive I could get lynched now <laughs> it's kept a lot of people quiet probably not a good thing in the world of free speech you know, I like watching my films back, I'm very very sad 
So I sort of do them for me first. Fuck, I'm mean, sorry. <coughs> audience comes... No, you're very important, dear audience. Yes, you're very important. Don't you worry. Is David keeping up? Stopped at a tiny village called Westacre. Just to change the GoPro battery. Oh, I was talking away oh, when it gave in. So keep an eye on the flashing red light on the... Uh, won't be looking where I'm going, haven't I? Very attractive little pub there. No pubs in Britain open. It's not, not good, is it? Turned off uh, the B road onto a yellow road because it was gritted. Nothing worse than a gritted road when you're on a motorbike. bike. Well, there are many things worse. But it's not a nice thing, is it? Being on the gravel reminds me, I'm going to put a picture up of my voltage regulator. What do you reckon, guys? That's a bit shit, isn't it? So, booked in for service next week at Newmarket Harley-Davidson. I will have a look at it when it's here, sir, but it does get a lot of stone chips down there. Yeah, well, it may well do, but it shouldn't be uh, aluminium corroding, forcing the paint off like that, should it? What do you reckon? Please comment below. Have you got a Harley? Have you had the same problem? I reckon it needs a new voltage regulator because the paint quality on it is shite. And it's a really, yeah, it's a crap position to put a voltage regulator right in front of where stones jump up. But regardless of that, it still shouldn't get corroded in such a way that the paint literally peels off. my opinion. We'll see what they say at Harley next week, but any uh, experience from you guys would be appreciated. Not oh, bad yellow road, is it? Now, I don't know... I don't know, earlier, because I buggered up filming, or the bloody GoPro buggered up filming, or the something buggered it up, whether I got to the stage about moaning about driving standards at the moment. Yeah, so if you're going out, guys, be careful, because people are shit at the moment at driving. They seem to have lost the ability. Oh, COVID-19! I can't drive anymore! Okay, now, get on with it, people. Well, they do get on with it all over the bloody place. You know what it's like on the Sunday drivers, that old term. This is a lovely little road. I can't show you where it is, because I've gone off the map. Like a big lemon, I forgot to hit centre. So we keep it the map centred. Never mind. I'll tell you what, there's some flies committing suicide on my jacket and a half. Alright, I think we need to go right here, I'm guessing that. <laughs> yeah, this looks okay. David thinks, does he know where he's probably going with that ordnance survey map? No, I don't, because they've gone off it. Um, what was I saying about driving standards? Yeah, when I was a sales rep in the 90s, you know, driving standards in the weekdays were great. Saturdays, not too bad. Sundays, awful. And do you know, the roads are quieter, and the roads were terribly dangerous with idiots everywhere. People who don't drive very much to go out once on a Sunday cause chaos. Well, that's what it's like now. Quite quiet roads, idiots everywhere. So you've not really seen any of this. I shouldn't tempt fate, should I? But yeah, so be careful, guys, going out. The idiots are out to get you. En masse. Well, not en masse. But there aren't many of them. But they're bad. <laughs> totally lost now. <laughs> oh, well, that's funny, isn't it? Well, not lost, but we well, yeah, are. Yes, I am lost. Now, what's this saying here? Ah, halt that way, that's what we want. So now we're not 
no longer lost. Now, this is the road where Wavy Pete lives. Now, whether Wavy Pete is still outside waving, we'll give him a big wave, everybody. Are you ready to... If he's, he's not going to be here, is he? Wavy Pete. Or is it Wavy Dave? Oh, it doesn't look like he's here. Now, that's sad, doesn't it? Where is he? Locked down. Hmm. No wavy Dave. Oh well. Yeah, a guy normally stands outside that house in a fluorescent jacket and waves at the traffic night and day almost. First time I've ever been past and he's not there waving. I hope he's okay. And I have to say, the roads are lovely and quiet tonight. Lovely. All right, guys, something else to ask you. Um, I've made quite a few videos, and I'm, I'm going to have to improve. I know they're long-winded sometimes, with my road trips and days out, whatever. I'm going to be doing more rides with maps over the coming months, hopefully, if we continue to be allowed out. Hmm. Um, and be the north of Britain, certainly uh, Dales, Cumbria, as usual, heading up that way at some point. Certainly be going to Scotland, not sure exactly where, the western part probably, maybe some other places. Let me know somewhere where you'd like Fentor to explore. What sort of things would you like in the videos? Cafes, pubs, if they're open. bit more banter, just keep it as it is, whatever. Let me know what you think. This is nice, isn't it, this piece of road. A bit of road where you can just gently swing it left to right, left to right. Going particularly quickly, but it's Lovely, isn't it? Look at that, just sweeping, gentle corners. The market town of Holt. Lovely, lovely destination to come out on your bike. Let's see if anything's open. Some great places to have a tea, coffee, pint. But not at the moment, because it's stupid, you know what. Chip shop might be open. I'll have a word with David. We might have chips here if it's open. Nelson Fries is open. I'm going to go to the uh, Petroleum Spirit Station first, and there should be another chip shop there. I couldn't see if you couldn't see it for looking, but there is one there called Eric's. That's very good. didn't get petrol there in the end, there was a queue, I hate queuing for petrol, and um, I've got enough to keep going. Just with the tiny thimble sized tank on Fat Bob, it's nice to top it up as you go, but not a problem. Yeah, that's the worst thing, isn't it, about this, you know what, lockdown, having to bloody queue to go to buy anything. Although I found, um, we don't mind spending a bit extra. Um, going to the co-op never has a queue at my local co-op. If you want to be uh, saving money and getting good value stuff from Aldi, then you've got to wait half an hour at least to get in. So, you pay your money, you make your choice with the queue, it seems. Can't, oh, bloody hell, here we go, look. Great. <laughs> Fucking hell, I hate these bloody stone chips. We need some sort of warning, don't yeah, that's what we? Yes, what we need a warning to tell us when the bloody stone chips are coming. These aren't too bad. 
able to take a bit more paint off the old uh, voltage regulator, that's for sure. <laughs> Just about to join the coast road at Morston. Plan. I think uh, after talking to David back at Holt, the plan is to get some chips at Sunny Honey. Just had a, a Costa Lotta coffee at Burnham Deepdale. Tell you what, this is the quietest I've ever seen the Norfolk, North Norfolk Coast Road. Hardly anyone around. Oh dear, GoPros let me down again. On this clip, riding into Hunt Stanton to park the bike. Bloody silent movie, should have one of those pianos playing. This is the life. Look at that. Beauty in here. <laughs> it's like Christmas. It's as, if, as if I've never had fish and chips before in my life. This is amazing. And look at the view. It's working. They're all gone, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. His last bike's out of honey. What an evening. Delicious fish and chips from Henry's and just a perfect ride really. This is better than Christmas. Just brilliant. Look at that. Everyone being sensible in terms of the social distancing bollocks. Everyone keeping two meters apart. Not that many people here really, so not particularly difficult. Normally on, a, on an evening like this, be rammed. There wouldn't be any way to park along here. So, it's nice, very nice. So I'm following David now. Um, we're taking the, the back route. If you look at my video, I'll put the link above from the past, good rides. We're going back that way that I came on that particular evening, which is a cracking road, cracking route. Ah, oh, I can't tell you how good this feels. So, 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 so good. I'm, well, I'm sure you guys who've gotten out on your bikes in the last few days after being stuck at home the feeling of the same especially when you get onto some lovely roads in beautiful weather like this oh, so good feel very very full after my fish and chips and derby I didn't film the derby I put a picture up that's a derby freshly cooked ring sugar ring donut mr whippy ice cream and a flake <laughs> so much am i getting rid of the beer belly <laughs> might not be able to get any beer tonight there's someone very tall on the motorbike here look at the shadow what is the time it is 8 24. wonderful that we get these longer evenings. It won't be long before the clocks go back the other way, back to winter. I hate that. It means less riding. Cool. That's amazing. Hope the GoPro is picking that up. Second gear. That's nice. 
uh, slowly round the roundabout. Right, should we go for it? Yeah. Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts, this bike. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video as much as I've enjoyed making it and eating chips and riding Fat Bob. If you have, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and don't come back, piss off. <laughs> if, you, if you did like it, if you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe, choose the old bell icon and all that sort of good stuff. And we'll see you next time here on Fintor. Thanks for watching. Bye. Here we go. Oh, it's good. It's so soothing.